Okay, good afternoon, grade nine. Um, this is Miss Sweetie, and I'm going to go over how to do your final for your logo design. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to put a small border because the page is already small. So I'm not going to measure it, but if you feel like you need to, then go ahead and do so. It's going to be a tiny border, tiny, tiny border. It looks like it's maybe about three or four millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to do that all along the sides of my page. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split my page in half. So I will need to measure this to see how it's about... Okay, it's 27 and a half. So I'm gonna have to calculate that. Sorry, guys, I'm not good at math. Okay, so I'm just gonna find the center. And I'm going to put a line through. Okay, so one side, you have your page with a small border, then you have two halves. So one side will be your logo design and the other side will be your water bottle with your logo design on it. Okay, so I'm going to draw out the grid for my logo design on this side. And measure it and see how far along it is. It's about two inches. small a rectangle rectangular box to put my water bottle in okay this would be how you lay out your um, final. Okay, and so your lettering will come along here like this, which I'll show you in the next video. But I'm going to show you how to draw a water bottle. And I have a water bottle here, and it can be this simple. It doesn't need to be complicated at all. And I'm going to put the water bottle in. Okay. Okay, so that doesn't look quite even, so I'm just going to fix it. Okay. So that would be your water bottle. Very, very simple form. Okay, you can make the top t higher if you'd like. I think it might look nicer with a higher top, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make it a little higher. Okay. So I'm going to make it a little higher. And define it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add where the label would fall. Okay, and I cut my old one out just so that I could see how it would fall. You could see where the lines curve. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, obviously, mine is going to have to be smaller on this um, to fit. So you can see you'll have a curved line here and a curved line here to show where, you, where your label would fall. And then you could put your grid you could put your grid right around the center of the label and you'll need to measure out however many letters you have you'll need to measure out um, 
so you could fit all the letters in. Okay, and if you're doing it this way, if you're doing it vertically, then you just do the line vertically and it would just come straight across the lines with a curve so much. Okay, 